is funny. Fernando de Rojas, La Celestina. Hi, and welcome back again. Perhaps prompted by the barber's story in the previous chapter, Don Quixote wants to know what people are saying about him, specifically the masses, the commoners, the low nobility, the hidalgos, and the high nobility, the gentlemen, in other words, caballeros. He also recalls the earlier theme of princely advice and mocks the corruption and flattery practiced by the political class. I want you to know, Sancho, that if the naked truth, unclothed by flattery, were to reach the ears of princes, the times would be different. Other ages would be considered iron when compared to our own, which I have heard is considered golden among present nations. Notice how complex this is. Don Quixote recognizes that compared to life in other countries, Spaniards are living a golden age, but he still insists that it is more corrupt than it should be. Sancho is brutally honest. Commoners believe that Don Quixote is simply insane, a great madman. The Hidalgos think he has gone too far by calling himself Don or Sir when all he owns are four vine stumps and a couple of fields. And the high gentry is offended that the low gentry dares to compete with them, especially since Don Quixote is one of those who polish their shoes with soot and mend their black stockings with green thread. Notice how, like the beginning of part one, part two opens with detailed information about how both Hidalgo and Squire are dirt poor. Finally, Sancho reports that many people questioned Don Quixote's character, calling him crazy but amusing, brave but unfortunate, and courteous but impertinent. Did you know, among all the different ranks of nobles, for example, counts, dukes, and marquises, that Hidalgo represented the lowest caste of all? Don Quixote either ignores or dismisses these criticisms and points out that slander has attended all great heroes. Julius Caesar was called overly ambitious. Alexander the Great, a drunk. Hercules, self-indulgent. Don Galeor, too quarrelsome. And his brother Amadis of Gaul, a crybaby. But when the knight asks the squire if there is anything else, the exposition of part two takes a radically absurd turn that once again displays Cervantes' literary genius. Cervantes is not just the inventor of the modern novel, he is the inventor of the modernist novel. Incredibly, Sancho reports that his neighbor, Sanson Carrasco, who has just returned from his first year at the University of Salamanca, is currently reading a book about their adventures called The Ingenious Gentleman Don Quixote of La Mancha. Wow, not only is the month between parts one and two not enough time for such a book to have been composed and published, Sancho is shocked because the author describes things that happened when we were alone, which made me cross myself out of fear about how the historian who wrote them could have known about them. Sancho reports that the high nobles are offended because Don Quixote a. Dares to call himself Don. B. Dares to compete with them. C. Dares to mint his own money. Correct answer. B. Dares to compete with them. This hint of existentialist trauma is mitigated by a comedic discussion between Knight and Squire about the identity of the author of their story. Don Quixote affirms that he must be a wise enchanter, as per the narrators of the books of chivalry, and Sancho reports that his name is Cide Amete Berenjena, confusing the surname Berengeli with the Spanish word for eggplant. Don Quixote notes that this name is Moorish and that Thide means Lord in Arabic, but when Sancho agrees because the Moors are fond of eggplants, the knight doubts that the squire is correct about the surname. Notice how Cervantes makes fun of racism here. At this point, Sancho rushes off to get the bachelor Carrasco, who will tell Don Quixote more. That's all for now. We'll see each other again in the next video. If you liked this video and want to continue learning more about the knight-errant Don Quixote de la Mancha, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here.
Also, you can enroll in our free online course on Don Quixote by clicking here.